Hi, I'm John. In this tutorial, we'll discuss using existing saved content in Looker. In previous videos, we show you how to get started browsing data in Looker, including navigating, seeing lists of saved content, and searching for saved content. When in the Browse tab, we can see the looks in the current space. When you find a look you want to view, there are two options. First, you can simply view the look by clicking it. Or, you can click Explore from here if you want to use the look as a starting point for further data exploration. In this tutorial, we are just going to focus on simply viewing the look, a saved report that you or someone else created. Clicking on the look will bring you to a page displaying the look and information about it. You can see the look's title and its visualization of the data. In this case, we see a chart showing returns by month and category. You can also see how many rows are in the data, how long ago the data was last queried, and the time zone of the data you're viewing, if your administrator has enabled user-specific time zones. If you want to make permanent changes to a look, you'd click Edit, but we'll cover that in another video tutorial. However, there are several changes you can make that don't affect anyone else, such as sorting columns. Open the data bar and click a field to sort by that field. Click again to reverse the sort. If you want to sort by multiple fields, click the first one, then hold the Shift key while you click the additional fields. You can also hide some of the values in the visualization by clicking on their label. This is just a temporary change that won't affect other users. If any filters have been added to the report, they can be seen here. If the look was created with adjustable filters, you may change them to limit the report to the information that you're interested in right now. Just remember to hit the Run button in the upper right after making any changes. If you want to know more about the data behind the numbers in the report, you may be able to drill into that value. For example, if I open the data bar and click on the amount of returned accessory orders in June 2017, a window will appear showing me all the underlying data of those nine orders. You can also drill by hovering over the data in the visualization, clicking the data bar, and then clicking Show All. In this case, Show All 9. In the pane on the right, we can see details about the report. The person who created the look can include a description of the look's purpose here. If anyone has scheduled the look to be sent by email or some other way, that shows up here. And if this look is used in one or more dashboards, that shows up here. This tutorial showed you how to open a saved report, called a look, view the visualization and other information about the look, to make temporary changes to the visualization, and to drill into the details. Thanks for watching. To learn more about viewing saved content, including both looks and dashboards, check out this page in Looker's documentation. To get started building your own dashboards, check out this page. Click the links at the end of this video to learn more about asking your own questions in Looker.